Do you have really scary, intrusive thoughts sometimes? Let's deal with that right now. Hello, my name is Sheridan Coldstream and welcome back to my channel. I'm a voice and confidence coach and today's video is about intrusive thoughts. But first things first, what are intrusive thoughts? Intrusive thoughts are those thoughts that come into our minds sometimes from nowhere that suddenly question everything about who we believe we are. I don't mind admitting that I had a batch of intrusive thoughts last week and that has prompted me to make this video as these thoughts can be so dominating, so powerful that they convince us of all sorts of things which simply are not true. Where do your intrusive thoughts take you? Perhaps before you even answer that question in your mind, you should know that nearly everybody suffers sometimes from negative, unhelpful and intrusive thoughts. Sometimes we call these the little voice in your head. Where do your intrusive thoughts take you? Perhaps they make you feel like a complete failure. Perhaps they make you question everything about what you've done with your life so far. More than likely, they make you compare yourselves to other people always unfavourably. Maybe you look at the way other people look and think you should look more like that. Maybe you look at the incomes that other people earn and feel, why aren't I earning as much money as that person? Therefore, they are successful and I am a failure. And we make these horrible comparisons. And then, of course, this triggers all sorts of worse intrusive thoughts because there's a thing called confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when our brain will naturally look for evidence to support what we're currently thinking. So if we're currently feeling like a failure, confirmation bias will look for evidence that we're a failure. It'll look at all the things that haven't made us feel good and make us question our very identity. Intrusive thoughts are not our intentions. They are not an accurate judgment of who you are and they are certainly not a sign that it's time to act on them. For example, suicidal thoughts, thoughts of wanting to take your own life to end it all, are not a sign that it's time to do so. Quite often, suicidal thoughts are just a symptom and only a symptom of depression. Intrusive thoughts can feel absolutely terrifying, really, really scary. The same intrusive thoughts have a way of recurring, coming back again and again, stronger and stronger each time. This is because resistance is futile. Our instinct is to try and fight them and to reject them. And by doing that, those same thoughts just come back harder and stronger than before. This can make you worry or even feel as if you're crazy. And then we believe that we're meant to act on them. We believe these thoughts actually mean something. They don't. So in a nutshell, the thing with intrusive thoughts is to get better at noticing them and acknowledging them for what they are. Just intrusive thoughts, just that little voice in your head. But I know, as I say, I've experienced this quite recently. When we're in that space, it's really, really hard sometimes to believe anything different from what the intrusive thoughts are telling us. But the first thing is to notice them, recognise them as false they are lies. They are not the truth. They are the little voice banging away in your head. And the next thing to do is don't give them power. Don't dwell on them. Consciously stop thinking about them and do something that makes you feel present in the moment. Maybe get creative or do something spontaneous. Stroke your favourite pet, sing a song, paint a painting, whatever it may be, because intrusive thoughts are not you. And just a final word to all you sensitive people out there. And I am a, a fellow self-confessed sensitive person because sometimes sensitive people feel intrusive thoughts more than other people do. If you are a sensitive human being, that is a phenomenal gift. It means that you are more in touch with your feelings. You have more insight, more sympathy, and more empathy and more understanding of how humans think than perhaps some other people do. That is a fantastic thing and you must cherish this. My name is Sheridan Coldstream. This is my YouTube channel. It's very important to me that these words get out to as many people as possible. So please do like, 
share, subscribe to this channel if you find this information helpful. And that way, hopefully more people can benefit and not suffer as much from their intrusive thoughts. See you again soon. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da